interesting book out. What was it called? Golly! It was by some, I think it was a Harvard professor on the Black Plague. And it was rather interesting. Um, Cause it's like the worst plague in human history as far as uh, percentage of population that it affected. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was interesting because they're not sure all the factors that brought it about. But one of the things that he noted was they had been having the greatest weather that they'd have for had had for a couple hundred years, uh -huh. and so they were growing lots of grain, and you know the the countryside was doing real well. There's a lot of peasants moving to the um, towns and stuff, moving up in the world, and so they started confining cows and grain feeding them. And so they all started eating this grain, you know, all these grain-fed cows and animals. And, you know, it was just, everybody got concentrated. And it was just, you know, um, you know they got these feedlots, essentially, that mill manure started building up. And uh, it was just very interesting. It was, you could have replaced it word for word with what's happening today. And it was, and it was just... It was kind of interesting that, you know, it was all those things that preceded, the, you know, like one of the worst plagues in human history. And it was like, hmm, I guess people don't learn from history very well. Yeah, well, and then you got things like bird flu and BSE. It's a challenge, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a good challenge to have. Like, I've had a couple guys, especially like I brought uh, a couple chefs have come out and I've taken them around a little bit and they're, they take them out to one of the fields and he was just like, wow, why isn't everybody doing this? This is amazing, you know, it's, and you know, he was on the other end actually using the food. He was like, this is the, you know, best possible stuff I can get anywhere. You know, they said, there's no step up from this, you know, so. If you look at a cow in a very simple way, a cow uh, has four legs, it can walk, it can eat, and it's got a pretty efficient manure spreader on the rear end. And so putting them out on pasture makes great sense. They harvest their own food, they make milk from the grass, and they dispose their waste back out on the, uh, out on the fields. It reduces labor costs, energy costs, all kinds of input costs. Whereas opposed to the feedlot, what have we done? We've taken an animal that has the ability to move, has the ability to harvest its own food, and we put it in a, in a feedlot, and we cut grass, we cut corn, we cut all that stuff, and we move all these materials and bring it to the animal and then all the manure and waste co concentrates in, in, a, in a small area. So it's not surprising that many of our mega feedlots are environmental problems. Because in a sense, what they are is material handling systems. But they don't deal with the biology of plants and animals in a way that pasture management does. So it's... I think in the long term they will not survive.